The Israeli military says it has withdrawn its ground forces from a region in southern Gaza. This, as today, marks exactly six months since the October 7th massacre. Fox's Trey Yinkst has more. That's right, it's been six months since the October 7th massacre. We sat down with one woman who was released as part of the November ceasefire deal. She describes what life was like as a hostage. I am Khen Almon Goldstein, and for the past three years, I've lived in Kibbutz Kfar Aza. Nadav, my husband, they shot him at point blank range in the chest. There were two or three gunshot wounds, I remember, and he was lying on the floor like that quietly. I remember him with his legs folded and lying quietly. And straight away, there were five terrorists inside the Mamad, the safe rooms, with weapons opening the closet there and telling us to get dressed. We were naked, we were in our pajamas, and they demanded that we dress up. What's going through your mind in that moment? Terrible fear, fright, and shock. We got out in a line. The boys were already going out, and then Yam followed. Before that, one of the terrorists saw Yam's uniform shirt. He opened it like that. I remember his big green eyes, and he screamed at me in Arabic, and I don't understand what he's asking me. So you're, you're driven into Gaza uh, with your children. What are those first few hours and days like? It took us seven minutes to get to Gaza and seven weeks to return. When we came back from Gaza, the unbearable ease of how it all happened was unbearable. At first, when we arrived, we reached the tunnel. We were there for two days. What were the interactions with Hamas like when you were held in these locations? Actually, in an absurd way, they guarded us, protected us, sometimes even with their bodies, from the Israeli Air Force strikes. We talked about this absurdity. We talked about this absurdity several times. And they also made sure to point it out, like, we protect you from the Air Force attack. That is the word absurdity. The reason Hamas wanted to keep these hostages safe is to exchange them as part of a larger ceasefire deal for Palestinian prisoners. In Tel Aviv, Trey Inkst, Fox News.